The commander said goodbye to Carson Wentz, the artist formerly known as. You go back to that game against the Rams. He was going to win the MVP. All he had to do is stay healthy. And tried to run it in. Blew out his knee. And now here he is at the age of 30. And I don't think he'll ever be a starter again. Now, he might come in for somebody if somebody's injured. But I don't think he's a starting quarterback anymore. And it's not, not all on him. But this is where we start. We give you the credit. You get the blame as well. And you go back to, there's two things that come to mind with Carson Wentz. First of all, I don't know if he loves football. And that may sound strange. I've said this before. I've been around athletes who are really good at what they do. They don't love what they do. Andrew Luck was really good at what he did. I just don't know if he loved doing it anymore. Carson Wentz. We were in Houston at the Super Bowl. You know, and, you know, we have these interactions with players and coaches and, you know, we're talking uh, off air. We're not talking on camera or on the radio. And Carson Wentz, I was like, you know, hey, congratulations. This is his rookie year. And this is, what, five years ago. And I said, you know, we were talking. I was like, hey, great year. He goes, I can't or I'm, th you know, so glad it's over. Like, I just want to go hunting. Like, he. It, it wasn't one of those where he's like, man, I'm living out my dream. I'm 25. I'm a starting quarterback. Man, I learned so much. I'm going back in. It's like, oh, thank God this is over. And I go, I don't know if he loves football. It was one of those reactionary in the moment. I'm going to my, saying to myself, I can't imagine saying that. But it, it, And maybe he was having some fun that it, you know, it was a grind or all those things. But, you know, you had a team that traded up to get you. You're playing, you're playing well, and what a wonderful, you're, you're living your dream. Oh, so glad it's over. Yeah, see. Yeah, like that's, you You had spent your entire life up until that point working to make this dream come true, and you just spent the last year living out your dream, and your reaction was, God, thank God that's I know, over. I know. Thank God that's over. Yeah, Marv. Do you think professional athletes get tired of the business of the sport more than the sport itself? Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you can get tired of the business when you've made over $130 million. He likes that side of, <laughs> the, of the business, the job. But he, he seemed to just, he lost his confidence. And, you know, he, he lost the locker room in Philadelphia. That was also a part of this as well. And, you know, Jalen Hurts was coming. And the Eagles knew it, and they made him expendable. He ended up trading him. You know, I go back to the report I had from a source. Their teams weren't interested in Carson Wentz. I mean, they they got, you know, Frank Reich was interested because he was there in Philadelphia. But it wasn't this, we're waiting in line for Carson Wentz. And that was the report that came out. And I refuted that. It was like, my source is telling me, and it was on in great authority, there weren't, there weren't a lot of suitors for Carson Wentz. You know, now you wash out in Indy, you wash out, uh, in uh, in Washington, and now what do you do? Now where do you go? And and do you want to play? You're only 30. He's got his money. Yeah, Paul. If you go back to 2017, his second year in the league, he was 25. Remember he came in a little older than other guys? He was like yeah. 23 and a half when he was a rookie. He was 11 and 2 as a starter, 33 touchdowns and 7 picks. I mean, that's nuts. He was third for MVP. I can find articles from the summer of 2018 if you could start a team with any quarterback 25 yeah. or under, and yeah. it was him and yeah. maybe two other guys, and everyone loved him. Even in Indy a couple years later, he, he threw for 27 touchdowns and seven picks, yeah. and they said he was healthy. It's like it's like his football ability is just cooled or something because he seems healthy unless there's something we don't know. Those are numbers that are deceiving because I never felt like, boy, that guy's going to lead me to the promised land. And it might not be fair, but you know, here you have – Nick Foles, who comes in and has the unbelievable Super Bowl. They had the talent there. But you go back to him running and, and scoring a touchdown and blowing out his knee against the Rams. And after a while, you know, those hits, and, you know, you just get tired of taking them. Sometimes you'll see that guy and, you know, an analyst who's uh, you know, on TV or radio go, man, he hung there in the pocket and took that hit. Well, you don't want to, but sometimes you have to. 
And there are other times when you'll see guys who just kind of roll up in the fetal position. It's like, ah, I ain't taking this hit. Yeah, Paul. A couple people compared him. If you go back to the draft, when Josh Allen was coming out, they compared him. Smaller school, you know, blah, 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 run and pass. Josh Allen's second year in the league, and he had a good second year. He had 20 touchdowns and nine picks. Yeah. Carson Wentz went 33 and seven. Do you know how many quarterbacks all time have had that, those type of, type of numbers in their first two years? At least 30 touchdowns, fewer than 10 picks. Two. Carson Wentz and Lamar Jackson in their first two seasons having mm-hmm. a season with more than 30 touchdowns and fewer than 10 uh, picks. Seaton, the poll question is related to who Car- or what? Carson Wentz, oh, Dan. Okay. We could go with Carson Wentz's dot, dot, dot. Mm-hmm. Career is over. Career as a starter is over. Feared. It's feared. Yes. <laughs> Carson Wentz's career is feared, feared over. Feared over. <laughs> uh, do I think his, his career as a starting quarterback is over? I, I'm, I would imagine he would... Still want to play football, I guess. I just don't know if you say, you know, I'm going home at age 30. And, you know, if I look at what he's made, he's made $130 million, I think. But I I don't know if he loves playing football or if you love it enough to go through this again and you're going to be a backup quarterback. Yes, But as a backup, are you really going through it? I mean, you're kind of in the environment. I, I mean, maybe he's not a guy who loves the environment either. Maybe, you know, he doesn't well, have, like, a lot of friends or something. I don't know. Well, loving the environment, and you have to embrace that environment as a backup quarterback. Right. And can he do that? Because I'm sure it was really difficult to look at Jalen Hurts, and you're the backup quarterback. And you're looking at him, and you're going, that was my job. I, I'm supposed to be doing that. But don't you have to love the game in order to feel that way? Yes. Yes. I, th- I think you have to be. This is what worried me about Baker Mayfield. Could he be a backup quarterback and then get that, you know, that second chance again? Because, you know, you're, you have that chip on your shoulder. You can't have a chip on your shoulder as a backup quarterback. Like, you have to be accommodating to the starting quarterback. All of a sudden, you're kind of the caddy, and he's the golfer. And I think... Imagine your entire life you've been treated like a star, and you've been a star. And now it's like, uh, yeah, you're backup quarterback. Yeah, Mark. Doesn't that happen to every single NFL quarterback, though? Because to get to that level, you have to be a star somewhere yeah. to even get to the NFL. Yeah. So, But I think there's certain quarterbacks who get to that point where, like Ty Detmer. Ty Detmer was unbelievable at BYU, but then he realized he was going to have to be a backup quarterback. Colt McCoy was a big deal at Texas. But you have to embrace that. And and certain guys can, certain guys, you know, you're just not. Blaine Gabbert, you know, he was supposed to be a great player coming out of college. Now he's a career backup quarterback. Yeah, more. That's why Chase Daniels thrives so yeah. much. Yes. Like, you want me to do what, for how much? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Put the backwards hat on, high fives. That's all you need. Maybe be ready just in case something happens. Yeah, or look ready. <laughs> That's all. Give him a clipboard, look ready. Just in case, get that visor. You're ready to go. Uh, all right, so that's the poll question we have. Carson Wentz. Wow. Very specific. Yeah, very specific. Okay. All right. 